Hello everybody, my name is Dan Van Epperen. Uh, I teach humanities at the high school at Little Shoot Career Pathways Academy. Uh, I've been there for 15 years now and in addition to my time teaching, uh, I've also been involved in running all the theater programs there and I also am the supervisor for the Key Club in Little Shoot. I was inspired by my seventh grade English teacher at uh, St. John's in Little Shoot. Uh, her name was Mrs. Gussie. She really instilled a love for, for literature in me and at that time, um, I decided I wanted to be a high school English teacher, um, coincidentally enough, still being in seventh grade. From there, I, I went on to having a love for social studies and history and kind of brought all those things together at, when I became a teacher. I'm normally somebody who's pretty good at keeping surprises, and it's usually pretty hard to keep something from me. I was shocked at uh, you know how many people gathered and then seeing my wife there and just seeing all my you know some of my friends that are on staff be there and then I started to kind of put two and two together like wow you know, all these kids are my theater kids. This, something's going on here. So by the time Mr. Bird started in talking, I was I was a little suspicious that something was going on. But um, up until that moment, it was the best kept secret in the building. So I was I was amazed that um, that went off without a hitch. I've been thinking a lot about the the favorite quote thing, and it's something I tell my students a lot is the only way you've ever truly failed is if you've given up, you've stopped trying. You know, I'm a, I'm a big believer. I I hate grades. One of the things that I hate about school is is that we assign these grades and really, you know, life doesn't look like that often. It's it's a lot of times this bigger spectrum, this continuum of learning. And so I want students to appreciate that and realize, you know, no matter where I am on that learning continuum, as long as I keep trying and I keep pursuing what my goals are, I'm eventually going to get there. So Mr. Van Epperen has been in my life as a theater director and teacher for over seven years now and I've learned so much about myself through him. Uh, he has always had such an amazing attitude when it comes to picking yourself back up whenever you're having a hard day. I don't think I'll ever have a teacher that will ever teach me more life lessons in a classroom than he has. Something that I love most about Mr. Van Efren it would probably be that he's been a father figure for me for a long time. Every week I get Dan talks basically and I get little snippets of advice from him and uh, one of my favorite pieces of advice is from Mr. Van Appen would be don't let uh, today take up too much of your tomorrow. One of the big priorities in our charter school um, is sort of counterintuitive as a teacher is we want to become more hands-off and put the ownership in the kids hands and we really want them to pursue their life goals and when they really come to the conclusion that they are in control and they can be um, achieving these great things by using all the resources that are in the building and knowing that there's so much support around them that support and that that reaction from them is um, fills my fills my bucket I mean honestly this is this is such a humbling experience and I think as teachers this really strikes to like what drives us to have an organization come forth and have people come forth and say, hey, we recognize what you're doing. Um, I think all teachers deserve that at some point during their career as a bucket filler, just to say, hey, we appreciate what you're doing and we, we, we know that you're dedicated to something. I have so many people, as I kind of mentioned earlier, that have been role models, mentors, my parents who you know have always supported me. So. I, I love them very much and I'm very grateful for everything they've done for me. But probably most importantly is my wife, Ella, who, you know, she's the one who's really the rock when I'm at school and I'm putting in the late hours and I'm, I'm away from the kids. And I couldn't really be there for my school family if it wasn't for the fact that I have all the love and support at home. So she's the reason that I'm able to do any of this. We